Hi everybody, it's Toronto Girl West. I'm coming at you from China. I'm standing outside a street called Furangji. So that means that I've been told it's referred to as Lily Street here in Jinan. Um, it's essentially an old hutong food street. Uh, lots of little shops uh, with interesting things that tourists can buy, but also lots of stands that sell uh, food and uh, old homes in the traditional alleyway uh, style of China. It, start, it stands in quite stark contrast to the fact that across the street um, is actually the location of uh, by far the most affluent uh, shopping centers here in uh, Jinan uh, with extremely high-end stores, the likes of which we don't have in our shopping centers. Um, it's rare, or you won't really find in Canada that there's a shopping center with stores like Chanel, or um, super high-end stores like that, or as I've seen here, actually a Bentley dealership on the ground floor. Um, so we're going to go in uh, to a Furangje. It's uh, just past noon, so it should be uh, lunchtime, it should be hopping. I want to take you for a bit of a walk and I want to immortalize this place. As soon as you get out of the taxi, uh, you see the entrance to Furangje and uh, on many days, there's a very strong smell, and some tourists believe it's uh, sewer. It's actually not the smell of sewer. It's the smell of uh, what is called stinky tofu here in China, and true to its word, it is indeed uh, is stinky. That smell, however, dissipates the further you go down uh, into the street. And yes, this is China, so uh, you can hear a lot of horns. You can see a lot of cars randomly passing by. Uh, it's a sense of controlled chaos at times, but it's utterly fascinating and a thrill to be here. So let's go. Thank you. 
章鱼小丸子，老北京爆肚，铁板鱿鱼。So as you can see, this uh, street can be a little bit crazy, a little chaotic. There's definitely a lot of sights, smells, sounds. It's a fascinating experience for a tourist. Um, it clears up a little bit further the further you go into the street. Uh, there's still stores, but it seems that the most popular food stands are by far near the entrance. Um, there's a lot of young people right now here uh, looking for something to eat uh, since it's lunchtime, primarily uh, meat on a stick. And I have to confess, I haven't been brave enough to try it because I'm a little bit of chicken, uh, if, if getting sick, but some of the food just does uh, really look good. Uh, we're going to take a little bit further of a walk down uh, into the Hutong Street, and that's because I want to show you a temple that is located uh, about two-thirds of the way down the street. Uh, and it's uh, very beautiful and generally one of my favorite little alcoves that I've discovered here in Jinan. And uh, Jinan, just so you know, is the capital of Shandong province. It has about 8 million people. Uh, it's huge, it's bustling, there's a lot of industry here, and there's a ton of universities. Um, so that's Jinan, let's go explore. This is the temple I was telling you about. I'm told it's a Buddhist temple, and that all of these ribbons represent uh, prayers. So the way it works is you come in here, you tie one of these colorful ribbons on, and when you tie it, you get to make a wish. Prayer. You want to make two wishes, two prayers, you try on two. 
And essentially what it produces is the most beautiful, colorful little temple in the midst of a crazy, bustling street. We're going to be really quiet here because it is a place of worship and we want to respect that. But uh, I want you to have a look. Some of the choice of just walking. That which you see in front of you is an incense stick. It's also another form of a prayer. I imagine it's really similar to the votive candles that Catholics light in their um, cathedrals when they're praying for something. Although somebody here in China, a master student, has told me that not just anybody gets to light these, so I don't know if there's some sort of a status involved with it. You see those sticks? Um, the Chinese people believe that those are fortune teller sticks. And you take the, the cylinder, you shake it, and eventually one of those sticks will fall out. There'll be a fortune inside for you. Definitely one of my favorite little hidden corners of Chinan. It's really nice. Okay, so I'm sure as you can tell, I've now made it out of the Hutong Street. Um, lots of souvenirs. Uh, didn't need anything. Browsed a lot. It's probably about the fourth or fifth time I've been to that street since we've been in Chinan. Um, it's been fascinating to be here. It's very much a city that we lived in. Uh, not many tourists come here, uh, save and except for maybe regional tourists, uh, which makes it a different kind of experience for somebody like me. Um, everybody's been extremely friendly. I've had a good time here. Uh, China has been really good to us. Um, I'll probably shoot another video when I'm in Beijing, and if not, I'll talk to you from Canada. Thank you for all your well wishes and for keeping along with what I've been doing through Instagram. Uh, or Facebook. I regret that I haven't been able to post as much um, as I would have liked, but I have a lot to write about when I get back. So, signing off from Jinan, Toronto Girl West.